Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do some quick uh, lip sync animation along with some expressive animation using the Avatar Toolkit and uh, in iClone along with some motion puppet animation and uh, some lip syncing. So uh, let's get started here. We have this uh, alien in the, in the middle of Japan or China here and uh, what we want to do is actually get him to uh, speak some Japanese. So let's open up a Japanese track here in animation, facial animation. Nani? Oh, and you can see that the lip syncing is uh, actually not too bad for this for this particular clip. Um, but what we want, to, we want to do is actually open up the timeline, go into the Visemi track here, and you'll see there's a number of uh, phonem uh, markers in the in the key in the lips track there. So what you want to do is uh, oh, these ones are okay, but the uh, Choto I want to change a little bit here, and I'll go into uh, go into there and edit that. I want to make more of a O oh, oh, for the Choto, so we'll delete that here. Um, Need another O after the T, so uh, I'll tune down that expressiveness as well. If you don't like it too expressive, you can tune that down really quickly. I'm just going to go through this, uh, try and go through this uh, lip sync oh, pretty quickly. Uh, you can just kind of watch what I'm doing with my uh, mouse here. Uh, just keep in mind that um, you want your uh, phonem markers, um, the further they are apart, the longer the transition will be between the two phonemes. So uh, if you want rapid fire mouth movement, you can put them really close together. Uh, far away from each other, uh, you can do that as well. That'll get a more, a more apparent uh, transition. So uh, here we want to put a, more of a a uh, a. Eh, let's delete that none. And notice as well that the uh, the morph uh, morph targets uh, for these monster characters they have 32 morph targets on their face, which allow them pretty detailed uh, facial animation, especially with the uh, lip sync. So you can go ahead and feel free to to. Uh, Go into as much detail as you want with this. Um, we don't want that E here, that's a little bit uh, too much. Um, maybe we'll tune, tune it down with an A. Uh. Well, the A uh and the A are basically the same kind of mouth shape, so. Hey. All right. Hey. We might want to just change that a little hey. bit. E is too much, Ah, uh, again. Just tone down the expressiveness. Often you can cheat a little bit by using the ah, uh, the ah uh phonem and uh, just tuning down the expressiveness for a lot of for a lot of things. Uh, I'm by no means a professional at uh, at lip sync animation, but uh, you know if you have lots of time, you can go ahead and fool around with it. Um, I'm just going to clear out a couple of these. Okay. You can kind of just go along with it. Whatever looks good. Um, Nani? Oh, Chodomate. Hey, it looks not bad. So let's get right into our uh, facial animation using the uh, Avatar Toolkit here. Uh, I'm going to use the real time recording and go along with these expressions. Nani? Oh, Chodomate. Hey, Nandayo. There you go. And you have to time that out according to your particular sound clip. Nani? Oh, so the last two I kind of uh, transitioned it a little smoother. The first three quotes he said are more separate uh, expressions for each. So I'm going to go into the direct puppet here. And right away I'm going to select primary rotation. Nani? And you can see that I can move his head around along with each particular, uh, particular expression. He's going to shake his head at the end. Like. Um, so let's go ahead and record that since I've got the rhythm already. Press uh, space and record. Nani? Oh, Nanda Nandayo. So you can see how easy that is. It just took a couple minutes to do a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good animation. Nani? Oh, Nanda Nandayo. That would take you a lot longer using conventional and uh, traditional animation techniques. Um, so let's let's continue on with the uh, direct puppet here. Uh, let's open that panel up again. This time we'll choose uh, primary rotation and choose his chest. Now we can turn his body as well as his head to whichever direction he's facing. So you can see he can get his body involved in there a little bit. Um, what we want to do? Let's first uh, actually bring up his arms a little bit so we can add some uh, even more expression. Um, 
if I bring his arms up kind of in a confused gesture here, kind of rotate them around, um, we'll make it make it seem like he's uh, even more lost. He's kind of hopelessly putting his hands up. Um, I can rotate that out a little bit further. There we go. Good enough. So you'll see the difference this makes here. I'm going to direct pop it and uh, again select the chest and uh, primary rotation and preview that. Let's press space. Nani? Oh, Joe mate. You can see that uh, he can move around his chest. I moved a little bit too high there, but uh, let's try that again when I record. I get the rhythm right. Nani? Oh, Joe mate. Nanda yo. So it really depends on how, how good you are with your mouse movement here. Um, let's move the shoulders now. Um, you can preview that. I don't want to mirror the shoulders um, because I want to move them kind of individually. And you'll see that in a minute when I, I want his left arm to go up there. So I'm saying, wait a second and bring his left arm up so he's waiting. So let's try that one more time. Record this time. Alright, so there's his left arm all done. Let's uh, move on to his right arm. We'll rotate that. We're almost done here. So if I press space. So yeah, you can see that uh, already in a, in a few minutes I've got a pretty good animation with a full upper body. This is of course utilizing the uh, Avatar Toolkit as well, which is a super useful tool, especially for the facial expressions on the monsters. So let's go into the timeline here and let's, um, we, don't we don't need the end of the clip here, the end of the uh, puppet clip, so uh, we can actually just break that off as soon as he's, uh, as soon as he's done he's shaking his head. And let's just go ahead and uh, break that and delete the rest there. And what we want to do is we want to add a keyframe here. And then we want to go uh, ahead a, a few frames. And we want to bring him back to a default motion. So this way, when he's at this default motion, he's ready to you know perform any other animation in the future from that default point. So it's always I always like to do that with some of my animations. Um, so there we go. Nani? Oh. And he should go back to the normal pose after this. There you go, it's back to his normal pose there. So that's basically how you can create uh, really quick Nani? expressive animations oh. uh, using the Monster Workshop Avatar Domate. Toolkit in combination hey. with some of the uh, real-time icon Nanda animation yo. tools. So if you have any other questions, uh, again, feel free to email me at developer at reillusion.com.